By the way, eh? Go easier, right? Here we go. What was the funniest moment of you being a manager? Funniest? <laughs> wow, um, the funniest, the funniest, the funniest. I won't reveal the player's name, okay? But when I went to Hartlepool last week, a certain player nearly got on the Blackburn Rovers team coach rather than ours. <laughs> And I won't reveal that player's name just to hide his identity. So that was a quite funny thing. Um, there's been plenty, but I would say that's that's the that's the best one so far. Good question, though, mate. Uh, what food do you eat before a game? What food do I eat? Okay, well I'm obviously slightly different to players because I'm not a finely tuned athlete no more. Yeah. What do you mean yeah? <laughs> yeah. Right, what do you mean yeah? Of course I am. Look at me. I'm in great shape. Um, so if I tell you what the players eat, so they'll be in. All the things you'd probably guess, pasta, rice, fish, chicken, eggs, beans, toast, all things like that. Obviously from my point of view, because I'm nearly a finely tuned athlete, I just eat salad. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Really important what you eat, okay? Stay on top of it. No sweets or crisps, right? It's on the weekend. Why did you decide to be a manager? Why did I? Okay, so when I... Started playing football. How old are you guys? Eight. I'm nine. nine. Eight. Okay, so a little bit of variety. Okay, so when I was your age ish, I just loved playing football. Now, back in my day, because I'm a little bit older than you, you used to be able to play football in the street because there weren't as many cars. And I used to love kicking a ball against a wall, and I just love football. And when I was growing up, I wanted to be a footballer, and thankfully I, I managed to do that. Um, and then when I was coming towards the end, my end, of the, end of my career as a player, I thought this would be a really good job to go into because I didn't want to work in Tesco. <laughs> no, no disrespect to people who work in Tesco, but I love football and, I, and I've been very privileged to, to be, be in football all my life. So, very lucky, very lucky man I am. If you could sign any player in the world, who would it be? <laughs> wow. If I could sign any player in the world. I'm going to say currently, Haaland. I was very lucky to see Haaland play for Norway against Northern Ireland a couple of years ago and for such a young player, just an incredible, incredible player. So I think him, I think he's not even hit his prime yet and he's going to be an incredible player. But Ronaldo's not bad as well, mate. Right. <clears throat> what's your favourite Vale chant? My favourite Vale chant? <laughs> When it's when we this crowd singing six 0 to the Vale, have you heard that one yet? No. Um, anything this any support that the crowd can give is, is is positive support. So any noise they make is is a benefit to our players. So if they want want to make up any kind of song, if this young man wants to get the crowd going behind the goal, anything anything's a benefit. Uh, what do you prefer, being a player or a manager? Ah, uh, I think nothing can replace playing. I think um, I say I feel. Very privileged that I was a professional footballer for 20 years. Um, very, very lucky. If you look at my hands, I've never worked a day in, in my life. So, um, yeah, very, very privileged. But this is this is the closest thing. So, spending, still spending time in and around a football environment and, and with the players. Yeah, it's. I, I say I'm, I'm very lucky. Good question. Mate. Of course, you don't like to be called the gaffer, but how much of a boost uh, being Daryl Clark being back? How much of a boost does it give the players? Really big boost. It's it's great to see him back, um, back in around the place, and then just his interaction with the players is, is giving everyone a boost um, going forward, and it's great to have him back. Um, what's your opinion on Dan Jones's throw? Dan Jones's throw. Have you ever seen anyone throw it that far before? No. No. I, <laughs> I don't know where he can where he's got it, where he's learnt it, but. It's an incredible throw in and it's a, an advantage for us. Maybe we've not taken advantage of it too many times this season, but it's something that we are looking to use going forward. What's your favourite formation to play the players in? I think you have to pick a formation which suits the players you've got available. I think it's very easy to say, oh, we're going to go and play this way, but if you haven't got the players to play that system, it becomes derogatory to them. So it's playing to the, the strengths of the individuals, which makes the, the collective team so much better. And it's also about trying to hide their small weaknesses as well. So anything we can do to enhance Jamie Proctor's qualities, but also maybe diminishes not so good things as well. So that's part of making up a team.
What makes you choose a player for the squad? What makes me choose a player? Yeah. They, they choose themselves. I'm the lucky one who gets to see them all week. Um, and obviously everyone's got an opinion, all you guys will have an opinion, and you've all got your favourite players, and I'm sure you'll be going on thinking, what has he picked him for? But fortunately for me, I see, see them all week, and obviously I've got a, a closer uh, view on them from Monday to Friday, so that they pick themselves really, um, but they've also got to fit into obviously the, the formation, etc, etc. What position did you used to play in when you were a football player? Have a guess. Look at me. Centre back. Well, why? Why did you say that for? Uh. Nothing to do with my nose, is it? <laughs> no. Striker. Like, I wish I was. I, I was a centre. I was a centre back. Yeah. You can tell by my face. That's why my nose is slightly wonky. <laughs> before you all say it. All right. Right. I just look. Yeah. I started off playing as a centre forward when I was your age, and slowly got my way back and played centre back. Yeah. So be a centre forward. That's where you see the name on the back of the paper on a Sunday. You've not had a kick of the ball the whole game, you scored a winning goal, you're the hero. All right, mugs like me, getting the heads kicked off. <laughs> Nathan Smith's got no teeth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't see his name in the paper, does he, every week? How do you keep your players motivated? Oh, great question. How do I keep them? Well, they've all got their own motivation, haven't they? As well. No, they're doing it for themselves, for the families, new contracts, they all want to be the best they can be. I've got to get to know the players individually and try and press the right buttons, let's say, to keep them motivated. But if they're not motivated now, they're never going to be motivated, are they? So they're trying the very best to do the best for themselves, for the teammates and for this club and for you guys as well, because you're all Port Vale fans, aren't you? Apart from maybe you. Mm. <laughs> and you as well? And oh, me. Oh, gosh. And me. I'm an Everton fan. Oh, you must, be, you must be thinking we're going to get relegated this season. Yes. You're a Stoke fan? Do you know where the door is? <laughs> <laughs> Boys, yep. well done. Some great An questions Everton there. Fan. Have we got a couple of quick fire fun ones that we practiced on Dan? Go on then. Uh, what's your favourite pizza topping? Oh, pepperoni. Pineapple on pizza. Mm. Yeah, just about. But not if you're in Italy. Okay. What was your favourite win for Vale? Favourite win for Vale? The last one. <laughs> I'll, the next one as well. If you're in the situation of a Manchester United job, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> Far too big for me. Far too big. Hey, good luck to the new manager. He's going to need all the luck in the world. Hey, any? Why did you choose Vale to manage the team? Well, I didn't choose obviously from the circumstances, but I came to the club because I just thought that. The things that Carol and Kevin are trying to do to our club and to progress it, I wanted to be part of that, so that, that's why I came.